On October 9, 2024, BE Systems was awarded a $184 million contract modification by the U.S. Army for an additional 48 armored multi-purpose vehicles and PVs. This follows the company's existing full-rate production agreement with the Army, supporting the continued modernization of Armored Brigade Combat Teams, ABCTs. The MPV family of vehicles will replace the aging M113 series, offering enhanced survivability, mobility, and interoperability for a modern battlefield. The AMPV lineup includes five specialized variants, each designed to fulfill specific roles within the ABCT. 1. M1283 General Purpose GP Utilized for Resupply, Maintenance, and Casualty Evacuation. 2. M1284 Medical Evacuation Vehicle MEV Equipped to Transport Up to Six Ambulatory Personnel or Four Patients on Litters. 3. M1285 Medical Treatment Vehicle, MTV, serves as a mobile medical treatment facility, similar to civilian ambulances. 4. M1286 Mission Command, MC, enhances command, control, and communication functions. 5. M1287 Mortar Carrier Asterisk provides indirect fire support with the M121 Mortar System and M95 Mortar Fire Control System. The AMPV program was initiated to replace the M113, which has served since the 1960s but showed vulnerabilities during modern conflicts such as the Iraq War. Urban warfare tactics exposed the M113's weaknesses, prompting the Army to shift towards mine-resistant ambush-protected MRAP vehicles. However, the AMPV offers improved off-road mobility similar to the M2 Bradley and M1 Abrams, allowing it to perform in various operational environments. The U.S. Army's decision to pursue the AMPV came after the cancellation of the Costly Ground Combat Vehicle, GCV, program, originally intended to replace M2 Bradley vehicles. The GCV program's projected cost of $37 billion made it unfeasible compared to the AMPV's estimated cost of over $5 billion. In 2013, the Congressional Budget Office emphasized the AMPV as a more practical option, leading to the Army's FI 2015 budget reallocation to prioritize AMPV production. BE Systems has expanded its production capabilities across multiple U.S. facilities including its York, Pennsylvania site, to meet the Army's growing demand for AMPVs. The current production schedule includes a phased ramp-up, with plans to reach full-rate production by FI 2026. The Army expects to receive 122 vehicles annually by that time, following an initial low-rate production phase that began in 2018. The AMPV program began in 2014 with a $383 million engineering, manufacturing, and development EMD, contract awarded to BE Systems, producing 29 prototypes. This was followed by low-rate production, which saw 289 vehicles delivered by 2020. While General Dynamics initially contested the contract, alleging that the requirements favored BE's Bradley chassis, the Army Material Command dismissed the protest, citing logistical advantages rather than preferential treatment. The AMPV's modular design allows for future upgrades in communications and electronics, aligning with the Army's strategy of incorporating commercial off-the-shelf components. This flexibility ensures that AMPVs will remain cost-effective and adaptable to new technologies over time. Additionally, the Army plans to incorporate satellite communications, integrating the AMPV into the broader digital battlefield. Looking ahead, potential future variants of the AMPV include roles in Counter Unmanned Aerial System CUES, operations. One variant could feature the Leonardo DRS Maneuver Short Range Air Defense MSHORAD, turret, equipped with advanced weaponry like the 30mm XM914 cannon, M240 machine gun, and Stinger missile launchers. This development reflects the Army's intent to adapt AMPVs for diverse mission requirements. The AMPV has already begun replacing M113 vehicles in several units, including the 1st Armored Brigade Combat Team of the 3rd Infantry Division.
The transition to AMPVs supports the Army's next-generation combat vehicle modernization priority, which seeks to equip ABCTs with platforms that offer greater protection against modern threats, including mines and improvised explosive devices, IEDs. The commonality of parts between the AMPV and other Army vehicles, such as the M2 Bradley and M109A7 Paladin, simplifies logistics and maintenance for ABCTs. As the AMPV program enters full-rate production, B Systems continues to meet the U.S. Army's operational needs, providing modernized vehicles designed to withstand the rigors of modern combat. With its modular design, potential for future upgrades, and adaptability to a range of mission requirements, the AMPV program is poised to play a key role in the Army's ongoing vehicle modernization efforts, while also garnering interest from international defense markets.